Welcome back. Today, we'll explore how to use the optimization tool in advanced design system. We'll start with a 7th order band pass filter, consisting of 3 inductors and 4 capacitors, with arbitrary initial values. First, let's check the initial response by clicking the Run button. This is the output response. I have plotted the two scattering parameters, S11 and S21. S11 means return loss, and S21 is transmission coefficient. We will extensively use these scattering parameters in this tutorial series. If you don't have the previous knowledge about these scattering parameters, then first watch the video displayed on the card. Before we will use the optimization tool, we need to know what we are going to design and what would be our optimization goals. So we are going to design a band pass filter with center frequency at 40 MHz and bandwidth 2 MHz. So our first requirement would be such that insertion loss is less than minus 1 dB in the pass band and return loss is less than minus 30 dB. So, let achieve this using optimization tool. From the left menu, access the optimization palette, place an optimization controller, place optimization goals. I am placing the two optimization goals. You can also place more than two according to your requirement. Double click on the optimization controller. By default, the optimization type is set to random. For this example, we'll choose Quasi-Newton. You can also adjust the number of optimization iterations. More iterations generally lead to more accurate results, but will take longer to run the simulations. Next, let's set our optimization goals. Double-click on the first optimization goal. Type the expression, S21. In older version of ADS you will type S21. Select the SP1. Use the same name as your S parameter controller. Now, check the frequency. Set the first limit such that the S21 is greater than minus 1 dB in the pass band, which is from 39 MHz to 41 MHz. Set the second limit, that the S21 is less than minus 10 dB is the lower stop band. Set the third limit, that the S21 is less than minus 30 dB is the upper stop band. Double click on the second optimization goal. In the second optimization goal, we will optimize S11. Select the SP1 option. Check the frequency. Set the first limit such that the return loss is less than minus 30 dB in the pass band. In the top toolbar go to Simulation tab and select the Simulation Variables Setup. Go to Optimization tab. Select all the variables which you want to optimize. Set the minimum and maximum limits. In case of capacitors, I am choosing the 1 picofarad as a lower limit and 1000 picofarad as upper limit. And in of inductors I am choosing the from 1 nano to 1000 nano Henry. And now click the optimization button. You can see that optimizer controller use the different combinations and check which is closely related to our goals and update the values. During optimization, if any variable reaches its upper limit, then you can pause and increase the upper limit. After the optimization complete, the updated results will be displayed. Observe that the optimization significantly improved the filter's performance, meeting our design specifications. Click on the Update Design button. This will update the values of variables. If you further want to improve the results, then run a second iteration of optimization. As I choose 20 iterations of Quasi-Newton, if in your case, one controller does not giving you the results of your choice, then you can pause and change the algorithm. This is very simple and easy. And if you face some problem, 
then share with me in the comment. This is all from today's video. In part 2 of this video, we will learn how to use the optimization tool in layouts. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. See you next time.